Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at MoabCon, and I'm here with somebody from Nice Software, Andrea Rodolico. Hey, did I get that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so who is Nice, and who do you help? So our company is uh, in the business of uh, remote visualization and uh, uh, user-friendly HPC. So we help our end users, the end users of uh, HPC systems, to run jobs very easily, to manage all their data management, and then to have all the remote applications running fluidly in 3D in the data center as well, or in the cloud. Okay, okay, so remote visualization. So the resources, the compute resources are somewhere else and they do the computing and they send the pretty pictures over the network, is that the basic idea? That's exactly the case. You know, basically, the idea is you pre produce a lot of soft um, data into HPC Center. Uh, why don't you consume that same data in the remote HPC Center without moving them, without waiting hours for the data to download? You start run the application in the data center. It loads the data at fast speed with 10 gigi, and then you run all the pre-post processing from there, and you can be in your desk, you can be at home, you can be at a conference, and uh, you're basically able to work like you were in front of your workstation. Okay, what kind of customers use this kind of solution? Well, there's multiple areas. Um, most obvious customers can be the engineering companies that need to do these kind of fluid dynamic visualization, crash test visualization, and so on. But then there's oil and gas companies that need to do uh, reservoir and simulation and the visualization and the planning. Uh, then you know you can think about uh, you know CAT scans remotely, or you can do um, let's say high-end 3D uh, visualization in a, an HPC center available to their users and, uh, and customers outside. So uh, a user will typically log in into the uh, portal and uh, be connected to see what uh, services are available for him. Uh, it can go between you know, starting a full Linux session uh, and providing parameters that uh, allow him to get to the right uh, uh, GPU or whatever uh, kind of resolutions he wants to run the session at. Or he can run uh, directly the applications he is mostly interested with. So, for example, he can click on a, a space shuttle uh, viewer and it will immediately get Moab to schedule uh, the session on the right machine. Uh, preload the application and preload the data in it and so that the user can immediately go on and uh, start playing with the, the remote application. Uh, as you can see, it's very fluid because it is running uh, on the server side uh, using full GPU acceleration and uh, of course uh, you can uh, make it you know as big as you want. Uh, you have the ability to run multi-screens uh, and uh, if you are on a connection that is uh, tight in bandwidth, uh, you might have the ability to reduce, uh, for example, the uh, quality in motion by dropping to very low values so that in motion you have a degradation of the quality, but when you stop you get a uh, high resolution snapshot that allows you to have the same fluidity that you, you know, in a local error network, but with of course uh, you know, uh, the, the, the ability to move and be, uh, let's say, working from home or from uh, whatever you, you please. And uh, of course, you can run multiple sessions. Uh, sorry, on uh, uh, from uh, from one uh, same uh, let's say user. Uh, you can, for example, uh, run also all and gas applications uh, that uh, allow you to run you know very complex models, and again give you all the flexibility to or keep the data in the data center and uh, load the very very big volumes. And uh, you can also do collaboration with that. Uh, you can go there and say, okay, I want to share this uh, session with uh, my colleague. So I can go there and uh, this space shuttle is not shared. So I click there and just tell that another user will be able to uh, connect to. And uh, when he will connect, he will see this session appearing in his dashboard and be able to just click on it and uh, we will do collaboration you know from a distance so this is more or less the the uh, the activity that our customers can do uh, of course the the big magic is when you have a lot of customers and you can build farms with visualization technologies uh, you are able to actually uh, make the best out of your resources by right sizing the amount of 
uh, memory associated to each user and uh, uh, letting them land on the right GPU and so on so that everyone gets the right amount of resources for the right amount of job that they want to do. So NetNet, how does somebody engage with you guys? I mean, uh, uh, you know, is it through the website or is it through partners? How do you guys work? So we work, uh, um, of course, we have a website and we're happy to get, uh, let's say, people uh, learn about us from that. But we also have a very good set of partnerships. Um, Adaptive, for example, is a good partner of ours. Uh, they are selling our software and uh, getting solutions around it. Uh, and then we have uh, the usual suspects. Uh, we're working with HP, IBM, and, uh, and the big guys. Um, so th we, we are very partner friendly because uh, we are a company that is fully focused on getting the best technology out in the business, in, in the market. And uh, you know we want our partners to leverage that and uh, make successful solutions in the market. Well, thank you.